Hi guys, this is Pam, Flower Patch Farmhouse, and we're in the greenhouse on a pretty rainy day. And I just want to meet Silver, my rooster. He should be out front, but he made his way back here. Um, anyways, I was shopping a little bit yesterday for some groceries, etc. And we went into a big box store for some things. And I always have to look through the garden center. And there was some... Blue Sea Holly. Now I've got some seeds going for this. It's a different um, variety, but it's still a Sea Holly. So we'll see how that goes. Last year I tried to grow them from seed and I was unsuccessful. I know I had an outbreak of spider mites here in the greenhouse and that kind of eradicated a lot of my seedlings. Um, so I don't think it was the seeds or seed starting. It was the spider mites. So this year hopefully will be different. Anyways, these were in the garden center. It was $5 for three roots, which you can grow them from bare root as well as from seed. So um, I wanted to show you how to plant them up because they come out looking a little different and you may not know exactly how to plant them up. So I have some pots here filled with some potting soil right here. And here, when I opened the package, this is what the package looked like. This is what I got. Let me bring it a little closer. Can you see that? Anyways, this is the root, very long root. And these are the new growth right here. So I'm going to, I think this is going to be long enough. They might bend a little bit, but that's, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump this out. I used the pots to carry it because my potting soil is up front. And so I am going to put a little bit in the bottom of my pot so that there's a little bit down there for the base of the root. And then I'm gonna put this down here. Now you want it, the top, to be right where the growth is coming out. So I'll zoom up a little bit. Let me see if I can zoom you in so you get a little bit. Okay, now we're zoomed in here to the pot and here's the piece. Now if I want this to be at soil line, I'm gonna have to press it down a little bit because um, these are really long roots and I'm not sure that you could, some things you can cut off and they'll be okay. They're the long, longish roots, but I'm not familiar with the Oringiums or sea hollies. So I am just going to kind of press it down where um, the, the root is bending a little bit. So hopefully you can see this. And I'm just filling in the soil around the root, which I have in the center, basically, of the pot. And the new growth needs to be sticking out. So there was a little piece I kind of buried. So I'm just going to tease it out of the soil and make sure that is all covered. Now they're bending um, that way because in the container or in the bag, their roots were down. And so it, the plants are always going to try to go up. So it was curling upwards to grow. But now that I've got them in the pot, they'll start growing straight up and not be curled up. Let me get these out of the way so I don't damage them. And basically that is how you pot them up. I'll set them aside over here on the bench. I do have my greenhouse to keep them in. I don't know when they're gonna come into the stores for you. Um, the big box stores, like the one I went into yesterday, um, it's like an hour away and their growing zone is, um, much warmer than mine. So they will get bare root plants in much sooner than I would put them out in the garden. So that's why I have to pot them up inside, but your local stores may get them later in the season, closer to your planting time. Now putting these out directly in the garden, I would do that the same way and plant them the same way. Um, make sure they're good and deep and, and the, the root is down there deep and plant them up to where the new growth is erupting. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these others up just the same way. And I'm not, let me get you down into the camera better. Get this all done in here. 
put this. This one's got very little growth, very tiny. But throws you, you got these little things here. That must have been something that was um, from the plant before. They look almost like roots. That's what can be confusing about it. But it's the long, big piece that is the actual root. So I'm just filling up. And then I will water them. I will water them with um, a tepid or lukewarm water, not freezing cold, which is what I have available out here right now. So I'll have to go in the house and get some lukewarm water. And I'm just firming it in there. You don't want to push it too hard. Just firm it down. And there's the, the growth right there. And I'll set this one aside. And then I'll do this last one. And then I'll want to mark them because until they start growing, I'll forget what they are because there's lots of things in this greenhouse. So another one. You can see the new growth right there. Like I said, for $5, getting three bare roots is actually a really good price. These are hardy perennials in many areas. Let me see what it says on the back about this one. It, let's see if there's a zone of it. Product of the Netherlands, bloom summer, full sun, spacing 18 to 24 inches. Uh, size number one, bold type roots. They get 30, 24 to 36 inches high and 18 to 24 inches wide. And this one does not have a zone on it that I can see. So I could look it up, you know, but I know they'll grow here. I'm in zone 8A. Many times I, I uh, grow things as a zone seven because of my microclimate. It says plant in the spring after the ground warms up to 50 degrees. So it makes it questionable about keeping here in the greenhouse, but I think they will be fine. Only because it can get quite cold out here because this is not a heated greenhouse by any means. It's more of a glorified cold frame. But I do overwinter a lot of things that don't like it real cold. Which, So basically, my friends, that is how you pot up oryngiums in pots before you can put them out in the garden. You can keep them in a above freezing place until it's warm enough to put them out. Um, what I was going to say is, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my goodness. Oh, what I was going to say is that you can actually grow sea hollies in containers as well, as long as they're big enough, um, et cetera. Just do a little research on, you know, how to do that. So if you have a patio garden, et cetera, um, it's very doable. And they're really such an unusual looking plant. They're really interesting and pretty tough too, especially for people who live on the ocean and the salt spray, whatever. I've heard that they are really good in those areas. They're pretty tough. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to pot up plant oryngium, aka sea holly in pots and or this would work out in the garden when it's time. I will see you later. <laughs>